It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be converting repeating decimals into fractions. Here we go. We're going to match each decimal to its equivalent fraction. We're going to drag and drop each decimal into the box that shows its equivalent fraction. So we're given three repeating decimals and three fractions, and we're going to match each repeating decimal with its appropriate fraction. So here's where I want you to pause the video, do your best work to match these up, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. Here we have our three repeating decimals. I'm going to start one at a time. We're going to start by understanding we're identifying the equivalent fraction that represents each of these repeating decimals. So let's clear our screen. I actually love this math lesson because I just think it's a super cool way to look at math, and you'll see a pattern here. So we're going to start, and here's our little puzzle, our little trick. Step one, we're going to let x equal our repeating decimal. Step two, we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by a factor of 10 given how many repeating decimals we have. So we have two decimal places, so that means 10 squared is 100. So I'm going to multiply each side of the equation by 100. So 100 times x is 100x, then 100 times 72 repeating means I'm moving my decimal point two spaces to the right. When I do that, I get 72 point, 72 repeating, on and on, 72, 72, 72. Remember, from our laws, our properties of algebra, whatever I do to one side of an algebraic equation, I must do to the other, and then it remains equal. So we're keeping our equality by doing the same to both sides. So I haven't broken any rules here. So now I'm going to use what I've learned in systems of equations, and I'm going to subtract the first one from the second. So 100x equals 72.72 repeating. I'm going to subtract x equals 0.72 repeating, our original repeating decimal. 100x subtract x is 99x. 72.72 repeating, the 72 repeating is eliminated. 72 subtract 0 is 72. So here's an equation that I want to solve for x, which will give me my fraction equivalent. I'm going to divide each side by 99 to solve for x. 99 divided by 99 is 1, leaving me 1x or x, and then I need to simplify my fraction. 72 and 99 are both divisible by 9. 72 divided by 9 is 8, 99 divided by 9 is 11. So 0 and 72 hundredths repeating is equivalent to 8 elevenths. So if you wouldn't have a calculator accessible to you on this on a state exam. However, if you want to check your math now, use a calculator. 8 divided by 11 will result 0 0.727272. So let's go back, bring forward our work. We've discovered that 0 0.72 repeating is equivalent to 8 elevenths. So we're going to take that and drag it into the correct box. So now we have two left to go. Let's move to our clean screen. We're going to take our second repeating decimal. Now this one's a little trickier. We have to get only the three is repeating here. So I'm going to start in step one. I want to isolate that repeating decimal to the right of the decimal point. And I only want the repeating digit to the right. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 10. So let's think, if x is equal to this, and I multiply both sides by 10, 10x equals 7.3 repeating. So in step 2, I want one of those repeating digits to the left of the decimal point in step 2. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 100, which means I would move the decimal point two spaces to the right. So 100x equals 73.3 repeating. So now, step 3, we're going to subtract. We're going to take our 100x equals 73.3 repeating. We're going to subtract 10x equals 7.3 repeating, noticing that I've isolated the 0.3 repeating. All right, 100x subtract 10x is 90x, and 73 subtract 7 is 66, and our decimal that repeats, our digits that repeat, are eliminated. So now, to solve for x, I'm going to divide each side by 90. 90 divided by 90 is 1, leaving me 1x or x. 66 and 90 are both divisible by 6. So we have x equals 66 divided by 6 is 11, 
and 90 divided by 6 is 15. So on a calculator again, 11 divided by 15 would result 0 0.733333 repeating. Here we go, bring our work forward. So we have our 0 0.73 repeating is equivalent to 11 15. So let's drag and drop our decimal to our matching equivalent fraction. All right, one left to go. So we could just drag this and drop it, but let's check our work just to make sure we haven't made an error here. All right, let's review this. Step one, we're gonna let x equal our 0.78, our 787878. So because the repeating decimal is to the right of the decimal point, I don't need to do anything in my first step, but x equals. Step two, because two digits repeat, I'm gonna multiply both sides by 100. So 100x is equal to 78.78 .78 repeating. 100x equals 78.78, .78, subtract our x equals 0 0.78 repeating. When we subtract 100x, subtract x is 99x. Our repeating decimal is eliminated. 78 subtract zero is 78. To solve for x, we're gonna divide each side by 99. 99 divided by 99 is one, leaving me x. 78 and 99 are both divisible by three. 78 divided by three is 26, and 99 divided by three is 33. So 26 over 33 is equivalent to 0 0.78 repeating. So we'll drag and drop our last one here. All right, and that is how you have it. That is how we convert repeating decimals to fractions. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon. Have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe.